keeping track of everything that you have covered, what you've got left to cover, how many times you've revisited each topic, which activities you've used, have you done a big enough variety of activities, can all be quite overwhelming and time consuming, but not anymore. Watch this video and I'm gonna be going through with you how you can track your revision in the most effective way possible, in the most time efficient way possible. Did you know that your brain will forget half of what you learnt in a lesson within the first hour after that lesson finishing? And if you don't look over the information at all in a week after the lesson, it will be almost completely forgotten from your brain. This is why ideally you need to be revising using something called spaced repetition. And this is when you space out when you're gonna review all of the content and you repeatedly do this. So how many times should you be aiming to revisit each bit of theory? Research has shown that five times is the magic number. And if you do space out when you review a topic at least five times, it should mean that that information is now stored in your long-term memory. So it's there for good and you shouldn't forget it. Now, I know what you're thinking, five revisits, how am I gonna find the time to revisit every topic five times? It is a lot and it can be overwhelming, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to make that possible in a manageable way. So the first thing to know about these revisits, these five revisits that you have to do is make sure that you're doing an active technique or active recall, that's the phrase we often use. And what this means is any strategy where you are having to test what you understand and remember. So you're not doing passive things like just reading the textbook or watching videos, because that doesn't test what you've remembered. So you're not actively having to think and delve into your memory. Now, to make this more manageable, the five revisits, what people don't often realize is doing your homework counts as one of those five revisits. So does revising for a class test, that counts as one of the revisits. So really you're coming up with three other activities that you could do at some point between first completing a homework for that lesson and revising for the test. And these are some of my favorite activities in terms of being what I think is more enjoyable or less boring might be a better way to put it and also really effective. So I love flashcards. I love blurting and I love this concept of text to image or image to text. Now ideally you should pick a range of activities as well. So don't only do flashcards. If you mix it up and do flashcards with a bit of blurting, image to text, and then you do your general revision, which might be exam questions in the long run. That is the best way because it develops a range of skills as well. Now, the next thing that you need to be able to do in order to track your revision is make sure that you are covering everything you need to know on the specification. And the specification, as I'm sure you're aware, is a huge document. So it's one thing having it printed out, but there's better ways that you could do this to make it easier to track your progress and to be quicker. One of them could be is just have a look at your spec and pick out all of these subheadings and the main topic headings. Have that as a list and then you can just tick every time that you've revisited it and check you've got five ticks. 
That way you can check you've covered everything and enough times. Now again, that can take a bit of time to collate all that information, put it into a document. So I have done this for you. I've created a study tracker for you that has all of the subtopics, and I've done this for four of the main exam boards in the UK. And I've done it so that you can actually track, have you revisited it five times? So this study tracker that I've made is going to save you so much time and such a headache of having to try and work out the best way to track your revision and all of these neat little tricks I'm putting in to make it motivational and really effective. And as I said, it covers four of the major exam boards. So hopefully it does cover what you have. If it doesn't, drop me a comment and I'll create one for that exam board as well. Not only that, but I've designed it so it will encourage you to do a range of different active recall strategies and help you to track which activities you seem to do a lot so you can mix it up and really improve your skills as much as possible. So let's take a look and I'll talk you through my tracker. So this is my tracker for AQA, A-level biology, and you have a little bit of information at the top about what spaced repetition and revision is, why it's so important, and about the importance of trying out a range of study techniques, as well as some information here on how to use the tracker, but I'm gonna show you that now. So you have eight topics in AQA, and that's what I've put in this first column. And then these are all the subheadings within each topic. So this is all the theory that you need to know. We then have review number one, two, three, four, five. And the closer you are to get into that five, we can see we're getting to the green as completion. Now for every single topic, the status bit is where you say whether you have started, haven't started, or whether you've fully completed your revision. So when you have started, you can click this one and it goes to this yellow. And when you finished, it goes green. And when you have finished, not only can we see this progression in terms of going from green to amber to, well, red here if you haven't started, but eventually we should get to the point where you have completed your five revisits for that topic. And we can see that clearly visually by all going green. And at the end, ideally your whole tracker should be green. So if you do learn more visually and you like to have colours to indicate it, this will be great because you can keep track of whether you are on amber, red or green, and we are aiming for the reds. If you're more into numbers, well, take a look at this column. This is showing you the percentage of reviews for each subtopic. And we can see here for this one, because we've completed all five, you're at 100%. If this one wasn't quite done, we'd only started it, you'd only be at 80%. And as you go through, this top box here is the percentage of the course you have now fully revised. So this is going to be adding up all of the subtopics and telling you the percentage you have completed. So for example, once we've completed this one, you are now 2% into the course. So that is going to help to keep you on track just to see, are you actually working at the speed that you would need to? So whether you are into your colors to track or your numbers to track, this has got you sorted. You've got every single spec point, and this is something to be using from the start. So don't just use this when you are cramming in your revision. The five revisits, as we said, one of them would be completing your homework. One of them might be revising for an end of topic test. One of them might be revising for a mock, and then you'd be slotting in the other things you've been doing. And that's what the next column is, where it says activity. I've given a selection of options it might be here. So something to do with your revision notes, exam questions, blurting, concept maps. But the reason I've done that is so you have ideas of what you could do but also you can keep track of, are you doing a range of different activities? Because that's the best way to maximize improving your skills as well as your memory. So there we go. Whether you love to track your progress with highlighters and colors, that is covered. Or if you're more about percentages, numbers, that is covered as well. We've got the five free visits. We've got all of the topics. We've got different activities everything you'd possibly need to track your revision and motivate you. So I really hope you like the idea of it. If you do, then check out the link below and get yourself a copy of that tracker and start boosting your revision now. Now, if you want even more inspiration and ideas on what active recall strategies you could be doing, Consolidation Weekly, then definitely check out this video next. I go through my favorite and most effective consolidation study techniques, which are proven to improve your memory and 
and skills. But for now, that is it. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos.